Now that we have done our paycheck calculator, we're gonna do a really simple post training budget. So this is completed. Our net annual pay is $33,187.50. So we're gonna go over to our post training budget and we're gonna have 33,000, oops. Um, you know, we're filling in generally the, the boxed in cells here. So our net annual pay was $33,187.53, $33,100.50. Double check that I did right, 33187.50, yep. Um, and this is gonna calculate, you know, all right, so if this is our net annual pay, then each month, that's our pay, so it's just dividing by 12. And then each week, you know, that's our net annual pay divided by 52 weeks in the year. So our, our weekly pay is that. That's what we have to spend for budgeting purposes. Uh, roughly 30% on housing is a good number to start with. You know, 10% for utilities, 15% for food, and then it gives you your you know weekly budget, transportation, saving, clothing, entertainment, you know, car, um, transportation, or other transportation, um, and then the one that we're working on here is our debt. So this would be loans, and if you have any other accumulated debt. But for the purpose of our assignment here, we're just talking about student loans. Um, as you go, you make a budget that works for you, but these are generally pretty good starting uh, numbers. So as you're going out, if you, you know, have a budget, you know, hey, I'm going to make, you know, $2,000 a month, and you're paying $1,000 a month in rent, well, that's probably um, really too high. So you, you want to kind of keep your, your monthly budget for housing in that kind of range. So this is kind of a good thing. Again, all the formulas are filled in with you. All we're doing in this is putting in our net annual pay, which comes from the paycheck calculator. And then we're going to take this debt payment. Um, so each month we'll pay $276.56. And that is going to end up in our loan repayment tab, which will be our next video.